Well, we have um, a few messages, two nice messages and two not so good. The first one, many happy returns to Gustav Mogensen, who of course the last Brentford player to score a goal at Griffin Park, and that was a celeb- uh, hat-trick, and he celebrates his 20th birthday this coming Monday. Happy 60th birthday to Neil Hillier for last Tuesday from all your girls. You simply are the best. We send our deepest condolences to the family of Geoffrey Francis Clark, who sadly passed away at the age of 95. Geoffrey was an avid Brent supporter since he was a child, and he will be sorely missed. And also the club is sad to hear the passing of Barry Nichols. Barry, who was 63 years old, lived locally in Brentford and has been a Bees fan all his life. We extend our condolences to his family and friends. Well, today's match, in line with many other matches around the country this month, is being dedicated to Amnesty International's Football Welcomes Campaign. Amnesty International, one of the world's biggest human rights charities, and they want to use football to help refugees be more welcomed when they arrive in England. There are currently around 60 million refugees across the world, usually displaced because of war and oppression. There are about 130,000 refugees in England, and they're settled here, coming from places like Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran, Eritrea, South Sudan, Somalia, and Sri Lanka. There have been many professional footballers in England who have come from a refugee background, such as Victor Moses, Saeed Berahino, Dejan Lovren, Christian Benteke, Granit Zaka, Zerdan Zakiri, and Eric Cantona. So today, the players have been wearing Football Welcomes t-shirts during their warm-up to raise awareness of the campaign, which is intended to give people a sense of belonging, which, for those having to flee conflict and persecution, is vitally important.